Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be Fighting Spirit Mania once again. We got DeWalt going up against Bonnet. In the games, honestly, I was kind of concerned that eventually the games would get a little bit stale to people would be tired of PvP. But honestly, these guys have given us really interesting matches across the board up to this stage. I'll stop saying that every other game, hopefully. But in the upper left-hand corner, we have DeWalt bottom right-hand corner. We got Bonnet starting as the blue Protoss. This is again on Fighting Spirit. And thus far, if you haven't kept track, the series is... So the set score is 1-1 to one overall. DeWalt is up in this set, 2-1. to one. And we are seeing... Are we going to see a 9-gate middle map? Maybe even an 8-gate? We'll see. Because Boneth is moving a very early probe out. So now we're going to... We haven't seen this up to this stage. And I, this could really roll... We'll see if this changes the momentum and the tempo. Overall, back to Bonnet's favor. It feels like DeWalt was starting to get a little bit of leeway, especially if you... I'm trying to think how many more games. Maybe it was the first game in the series where there was two gate... Uh, there was a two gate versus two gate, but the cybernetics core went down earlier for DeWalt, and there was just kind of a very slim edge advantage victory there for DeWalt that he executed very, very well. I feel like the momentum has been kind of in DeWalt's favor up to that stage. Let's see if... Bonneth can shift it back this direction, and it looks like he is going to go to the double two gate mid map. Gateway up for DeWalt. Is DeWalt going to open up two gate himself? Probe making its way upper right. It looks like he is, in fact, going to go gateway into assimilator. So it'll come down to some micromanagement, and it could be a tough hold. Now, there was that insane match where Snow managed to hold this off against Bisu when he went. Oh, when he went core before Zealot. We'll see if DeWalt has it in him as well. This is going to be a very tough hold. A very tough hold. Because he went Cybernetics core before Zealot. He's still getting that preventative Zealot, but that Zealot's coming out as late as you can basically get it. So it's going to come down to... He's going to need a shield battery. He's going to need some probe micro and Bonneth. Potentially could get counter shield batteries in this match. Never mind cancellation upon scouting at mid-map. So cancel, he spots it, he cancels, he immediately goes into second gateway and drops down another defensive pylon. So went for a crot, and that's where I got, I guess, also having that cross map scout can provide some support as well. First Zealot already on the way up. First Zealot is out here for DeWalt as well, and we have a shield battery on the way. And that, I gotta say, I'm just gonna, that's a bit of a lucky scout on DeWalt's part. Two probes pulling off, a pylon is dropping from Bonneth to try to equalize things. We got one shield battery down, potentially a second shield battery. The probes, so it's probes versus two zealots. They're actually wanting to kill that probe so he can't build anything further. Additional shield battery. Second zealot is going to be out, so it's for briefly going to be two zealots versus two. These probes sneaking across, are they going to be able to get it? These zealots dashing back to try to equalize things. That probe is down. A shield battery is attempting to get built. And right now, DeWalt down on numbers. Does have more shield batteries up for the moment, but one of his zealots getting wiped out. Retreating. Lost a probe as well. Now it's four on one with some probes in between. And this is looking like it is not going to be a hold for DeWalt overall as the opposing shield battery comes online. Three versus five now. As he moves in. One of them getting absolutely focus fired. And the shield, just a little bit of a sliver of health and the shield battery returning. This Zealot remaining a little bit inactive for a good portion of that, though. Allowing DeWalt to get a little bit of life. Good surround right there. Another probe lost. The worker count actually even on both ends. I also want to note that the probe that was south working on the pylon has been taken out. DeWalt actually behind in workers despite being in this rush situation. He's got four Zealots, two more incoming, working on the pylon. One Zealot... Going to sprint its way ac across. The probe could sneeze on that. It looks like a Zelt's going to walk up and do it. But now all of a sudden, DeWalt able to hold his ramp. But Bonneth actually ahead in workers at the end of the day. He's going to end up losing, however, the shield battery and this pylon underneath. And he's got a good number. He's actually in the red right this second. He's got a number of Zealots that are waiting outside. This... Being in the red actually might give an opportunity for DeWalt to catch up a little bit. So now he's down two workers. More Zealots marching up. And all of a sudden, it's five versus four. Making the way mid-map. I presume, well, actually, it's a hold right now because of Bonneth. Because of that 
the the lack of resources there briefly on that going into the red. So there's not going to be a superior zealot force with the engagement mid-map. DeWalt peeling off one zealot to find his opponent's base. It is three versus four in the meantime. Soon to be three versus five mid-map. And he's going to discover that it is in fact a cross-map position shortly. Keep in mind that probe earlier held short worked on that pylon. Are we, are we going to see... Now the question is, is the cybernetic score? Cybernetic score in a forge is up for Boneth. He might end up able to get a bit of a tech lead. Boneth is actually drawing back with his zealots. He's got another probe running up to try to get some additional scouting information. I Because of a, the timing, it looks like he is going to be able to scout and get eyes. Is he going to go right to DT? Cannon up for Boneth. Boneth abandoning mid-map in the follow-up. A pro blockading just to deny information. Now Boneth behind workers all of a sudden. He's got a slew of zealots bottom right to defend the ramp. He's actually ahead sort of in tech because he's got that sedimentetic score, but he needs the gateways up in order to follow it up. In the meantime, a robo is up. And it looks like that worker got a probe kill and was able to sneak in. DeWalt able to turn this around somehow in a flurry of action, working on the shield battery. He has to build away from the shield battery to hide the information, but now it looks like it's going to be two gate robo as a follow-up, and Bana sees it. Two gate range plus one weapons for Bana to follow this up. He's all of a sudden down 10 supply in a massive swing. Now the question is, is okay, Bonneth all of a sudden down a lot of workers, down a, a, a touch of supply. Maybe he could, we'll see if he can magically make his way back into this. Nexus getting dropped from DeWalt as far as a follow-up. And I'm wondering, is this going to be observatory? Yeah, observatory first, just to see what DeWalt's, uh, what Bonneth is up to. Robotic support bay to follow. So wants to get that initial observer out, I would presume. Just to be like, okay, is this a DT follow-up? Something along those lines. But it looks like it's... I'm expecting a third and maybe fourth gateway from Bonneth. Off this plus one weapons. It is possible we see a Citadel of a Dune for Zealot Leg Speed. Something along those lines. But I'm wondering if Bonneth is calculating that, oh, okay, we got a lot of Zealots. The Zealots are going to engage. And if I got that plus one weapons, that means my Zealots are just going to hit a lot harder. So let's try to get an engagement here at somewhat equal troop counts where I have plus one weapons and therefore win the engagement. But I'm still expecting a third and potentially fourth gateway from Bonneth on top of that. So there's the third gateway. Now the question is, is does he go for the full four as far as a follow-up? And does he go for Citadel of a Dune without leg speed as well so we can close that gap versus the Dragoons? Reaver being produced. Observer making its way across. Pylon in the corner. Bonneth actually starting to make his way now. This is a... I think if he does the engagement, it's gonna, they're going to be there well ahead of that plus one weapons. I think he's going to see the shimmer of that observer. And right now, I don't think he has a superior troop count. And I don't think with the engagement timing, he's going to have plus one weapons advantage. He is going to have range advantage, but he's only got four Dragoons. And there's four Dragoons and a Reaver opposite side, which equalizes that plus one weapons immensely. And it is three gate behind this. No grabbing of an expansion. And Bonneth, as far as the follow-up, it looks like the cannon does wipe out that observer. Bonneth finds the natural expansion and backs up. Is he going to just grab an expansion himself? I think he's got to wait for that plus one weapons before he makes a move. That Reaver really nullifies a lot of that, though. So in the meantime, DeWalt, at an 11 supply lead, has two bases, has a nice economic edge, has an additional worker sitting to the north, just in case. Observer just going to sit on top of this army to watch it, and Bonneth is going to go. But this Reaver is, yeah, that Reaver pot shot on those Zealots is really going to is going to make Bonneth think twice. It looks like he is going to back off. I think Bonneth is the caliber of player where he recognizes a losing scenario and he's just going to go ahead and defend it. Now the question is, is DeWalt chase him? Or does DeWalt just sit in a passive situation knowing that he's got that economic lead 
and can continue to grow it. In the meantime, he's got four gateways up and is tacking on a fifth. And is moving units out now that range is finished. I think he might have noted the plus one weapons because he's already upgrading plus one armor. The Zealots, where that really plays a big factor. Well, actually, do we have nine Dragoons? We have 10 Dragoons, which does allow one shot of Dragoons. But we still have a Reaver in the midst of this. So Bonneth has the magic number to really make that one shot with that plus one weapons hit. He's still at the magic number right this second, but if he's got a lot of weakened units. So he loses one more. This becomes less of an advantage. DeWalt, in the meantime, just fanning out, getting more troops to the front. Natural expansion not quite up. It looks like he's dashing things back to go ahead and get the shield regeneration. And he's also got a reaver and a shuttle to apply additional pressure. Bonnet's natural expansion now up. He's down two gateways worth of production. He's working on plus one armor. So never mind. I think he was. I miscalculated who's being upgraded there, and it was actually Bonnet going for the plus one armor behind that forge. He's got his own observatory up, he's got his Citadel of a Dune building. I don't know if he has a tech window, though. Bonneth able to find DeWalt's unit scattered. I'm going to end around. DeWalt looking to position. Keep in mind, this is... Although, DeWalt, Bonneth's units coming in a little bit scatter shot as well. And in the meantime, the Reaver planting and emptying that natural expansion. So we've got DeWalt hunting that armor, army mid-map, emptying that natural expansion, and all the units retreating now for Bonneth. And Bonneth down a massive amount of supply in the meantime including three workers in the midst of that. The Reaver are going to regroup. So we got an upgrade advantage, a very slight upgrade advantage for Bonneth, but I'm going to say that's mostly neutralized by both the raw supply count and also the Reavers. Part of the reason Reavers are so dominant in the early and mid game for Protoss. Observer making its way to the south just to make sure there wasn't a third base. DeWalt sidling up to go ahead and grab that third base himself. And the prospects for Bonneth... Looks like he does have a worker there at the 3 o'clock location to threaten taking a third, but he certainly cannot hold it right this second. Down 30 supply. I think he's just hoping it doesn't get scouted right this second if he is going to go for that grab. Granted, DeWalt hasn't uh, grabbed that either. I think he wants to see the outcome of these fights. Bonneth also down a significant amount of information. He has the observatory up, but still hasn't gotten an observer produced. He's doing that right this second. Templar archives coming online. This actually might be ahead of DeWalt's on the opposite corner, though. So uh, let's see if DeWalt just goes for a punch. Right now, the Reavers taking care of that pylon. We've got some units making their way to the south to kind of get a, a two-pronged attack going on the front. Bonneth has moved some Dragoons to the southerly position. So a bit of an engagement to the south. The shuttle taken out rapidly, but I don't know that it really makes that much of a difference because Bonneth simply doesn't have enough units to make this work. And there's GG recognizing that he's at him just down and there's just a huge army encroaching. So DeWalt now up three to one, just needs one more game to be ahead in the overall set series. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for, lis uh, thank you for listening.